That was bad. Hey, good morning, guys. So today I just woke up and decided I'll do a full day of eating. So before I wake up or do anything, I don't eat food. I just have some juices, basically liquids. I'll go do my cardio. So what I just drank was apple cider vinegar, and I saw in the comments a lot of you guys said, you need a straw because it could destroy your teeth. So I just tried that. It makes it even harder to get down, so that's great. Now we're taking a probiotic, so that's 50 calories. And then I have my orange juice and cranberry juice, which I have the right one now. We have one not from a concentrate, so we have a serving of one serving of each, so that's what, this is 50 calories, 80, 110, 130, 110, 230 calories of just liquids before you go do cardio. So, specific order I like to do this in is apple cider vinegar, probiotic, wait a little bit, and then I have orange juice and cranberry juice, and I'll get ready with cardio. Ooh, wow. All right, so wrapped up cardio. Now it's time to make breakfast, which is just gonna be uh, eggs, bacon, and fruit. All right, so what we're gonna be cooking up is six eggs. I'm doing it from like four to six, maybe eight sometimes. We have some bacon, I'll probably use like two, three of the slices, and then I'll be cooking it in coconut oil. Hey, this is not smart putting my face over fire, but I'm also gonna be using cheese for my eggs. I usually use like a fat-free cheese, which is like it's literally just protein, which is pretty cool, but I ran out, so I'm just using some regular uh, Montre a blended cheese. Whoa, that's a big shove, fellow. Jesus. Some pepper, salt, potassium salt, garlic. Most importantly, everything but the bagel seasoning. So with the eggs, I'm also gonna make a smoothie, so I'm gonna show you the ingredients and basically blend it up, make it, and enjoy breakfast. One scoop of protein. All right, so this is the shake I'm making so far. We have some frozen blueberries, a scoop of protein, a serving of PB2, handful of spinach, and almond milk. I'm gonna see if I can try to fit this banana in there. Probably do about half and then eat the other half. All right, so we have the final product. Took a little bit of time. We have smoothie. So I already said the ingredients. I think it was like blueberry, spinach, cup of protein, almond milk, a um, little bit of PB2 for some taste. And if I forgot anything, well, well then I'm stupid because I already did this like a minute ago. We have this. We have six eggs, two slices of bacon, and some cheese. The exact calories I can count is from the eggs, the bacon, two slices so I can sort of, you know, Bacon varies in size, so sort of hard to count. And the cheese, I literally just took a clump, threw it in there. Um, if you want to make your eggs really good, though, scrambled eggs, what I would suggest is constantly stirring it. And, the, and uh, yeah, it makes like really fluffy eggs. So this is my typical breakfast, pretty much. Um, always have fruit, eggs, and bacon. Eggs, done. Now it's time for it. That's good. Finish this. This is breakfast, and then um, I gotta go to the graduation party. So, see if I record there or not. But basically, I guess I'll see you guys in meal two. So, I just got home back from like a uh, graduation party, and I'm basically gonna eat my pre-workout meal right now, which has been staple in prep. And now, basically, I just added like one more ingredient. So. Cream of rice we're about to make, so let me get this set up, show you guys how I make that. All right, so for a cream of rice, what we're gonna be doing is 90 grams pre-workout, which I don't even know if I have enough, but let's see, 10, 13, 16, 30, 90 grams, okay. Now what I'm gonna be adding is cinnamon, just like, that looks good. One to two grinds of salt. I like to do one packet of stevia per 30 grams cream of rice, so we'll do three. 
This is the step everyone messes up, right? So mix it up and water. You need like the perfect correct amount of water. So my measurement is 10 seconds for my water cooler. For you guys, I don't really, I don't really know. So we're gonna microwave it. Okay. For 345. Now we'll be adding one scoop protein. Also with one tablespoon of almond butter. So this is my pre-workout concoction, right? 90 grams cream of rice, which is I think two servings. Yeah, two servings. We have a tablespoon of peanut butter, um, cinnamon, some salt, and stevia. I eat this and I'll go for my walk, let it digest. I'll hit the gym within like, but typically I like an hour 15 to 90 minutes. So I don't like this digesting while I work out. So. Literally tastes so good. So I'd highly recommend this for your pre-workout meal. Give it a try. Wow. In prep, I couldn't have the peanut butter in there, but it's good. I'm not so smart as I said with relaying information, but listening to videos, glycemic index, something with carbs, glycogen, sort of having carbs with fat, slower, basically, um, carbs don't get absorbed as fast with fat. Something like that. What is he doing? Do it again, Bailey. Do it for the camera. Yeah, there you go. Don't know what you're digging for. Definitely nothing there, that being that's a carpet and then some uh, flooring. All right, so what I was trying to explain right with the carbs and like glycemic index and stuff like that, because I, I'm terrible at explaining information, um, look up carbs and bodybuilding, everything you need to know by Generation Iron of Fitness. He'll basically explain everything for you. Well, well, well. Awfully strange, because I walk around my neighborhood for like, you know, the walks that I just mentioned doing. Did not see a DHL truck at all, so. That's hype, I guess the suit's in this package. Intriguing. Seven inch shorts, those are my favorite. I always wear those, so that's hype, that's good. An Onyx, hold on. No offense, Gymshark, I don't know what type of Onyx this is, I'm gonna put this on in a sec, but this is the only Onyx I know. This is Dave's OG Onyx that he used to wear in like, whatever it was, 2016, he gave this to me. This is the only Onyx I know, so this will have to go to the test and see what it's like. Hey, wow, okay, this is pretty much exactly like that old Onyx. I mean, that one was a hoodie, right? This is the hoodie, but exact same feel to the OG Onyx. So that's cool, I guess the Onyx is coming out shortly, which they brought back, so that's sick. Oh, wow, it is tight. True knit pants. Seems dope. Rival seven inch shorts red. Highly would recommend the short shorts that Gymshark has. That's like all I wear from the short wise. Love them. Seven inch shorts blue. You know what? I'm gonna put these on for you guys. Hey. So these are the shorts, right? They have shorter shorts than this. These are seven inch. I think they have like, I think they have, they, no, not that I think. I know they have five inch shorts. Um, but, yeah, so I'm wearing, these are the seven inch shorts, which I like short shorts, they're very loose fitting. Let's see what else we have in here. This is intriguing, looks like a, you see that? That looks, right. reminds me of a spider. Don't ask why. Onyx long sleeve t-shirt. So they have a long sleeve in the Onyx, that's dope. This is some, whoa, this is like a coat, bro. Not a coat, this is like a, a rug. Grade hoodie, obsidian green. Obsidian, if you guys had an obsidian cape, let me know. You guys see that? Okay, that's sick. This is some like winter shit. Hey, camera shut off, but this is like, ow. This is like some legit, I'm gonna go out in the woods and sit in the snow. Feels like a, a blanket. Really warm, that's it's sweet. What's this one called? Grade hoodie. This is the grade hoodie, guys. Wow, that's warm, I was like, Feeling the temperature rise real quick on that. Bro, this is like something I wore to a grandma's house. What's this? True knit zit up. Burgundy red. This looks like something my grandma knitted. Let's check it out. 
Like this, this is something my like, like, like a grandma would give you. Uh, let's try. <laughs> I like it. It looks good. <laughs> Please don't fire me for saying something my grandma made. This is the true net. What else do we have in here? Is this another grade hoodie? This is big. Grade joggers. So I'm assuming it's like the same material, like super warm, comfy, in a jogger form. That's dope. Arrival short sleeve t-shirt black. Arrival, I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be out, I think. I hope so. True knit shorts. I'm gonna guess these are really comfy shorts. That's cool. I'm, I'm looking for these hoodies. I literally asked, I was like, you know the, the, the blue hoodie I wear at the gym? I love that hoodie. I asked for like three of the other colors. And I don't think they're here. These are articles of clothing left, and they don't look like cut off hoodies. Long sleeve. Onyx long sleeve, black charcoal gray. <laughs> Fit tapered joggers black. That's great. I think Gymshark got the message. All I wear is black pants. I like black pants. So that was in the Gymshark package. I was really hoping there was also the uh, the cut off shirts. The short, uh, the cut off, oh my god. Cut off hoodies because those hoodies are dope. My favorite one. I only have the blue one. So I'm trying to get more of those, but... This Onyx collection, I believe it's dropping soon. It definitely didn't drop yet. Be on the lookout for that. Alright, so being that's a full day of eating, I'm gonna show you what supplements I'm gonna take. Pre, post, and intra workout, all three. So, I have specific cups for each one. Pre-workout, let's get started with. We will be using two scoops Gorilla Mode Stim, two scoops Gorilla Mode Nitric, and then one scoop of glycerol. Bailey, you want pre-workout, bud? You look tired. So this is pre-workout, right? And I'm gonna ingest this now so that it's just in me faster and then I just get hit quicker with uh, caffeine. That's gonna be, that's gonna hit me hard. I should take some rush. Let's go take some rush. We'll also take uh, huh. We'll take like one to two. Two Gorilla Mine Rush pills. So that's pre-workout. All right, so now, intra-workout. What will I be taking? 25 grams of carbs now. We'll put about four, one, two, three, four. About that much salt. I'll just put water in there and I'll sip this intra-workout so that's, um. 100 calories, 25 grams of carbs. Post-workout, we'll use Gorilla's Dextrose Powder. I also do just one scoop. So, I do this right in uh, post-workout to restore glycogen, and one scoop has 200 calories, so 50 grams of carbs, one gram of sodium. All these Gorilla products you guys can get in the description. Code Anthony will save you more money. But, yeah, that's pretty much all I'm taking for the workout. Oh, one more ingredient. Orange juice, so I'll have this post-workout with the dextrose powder. Just a little bit, I don't know, that's like, it's about eight fluid ounces, I guess. To go over one more time, because I don't know if it's got it cross clear. Intra-workout is just carbs and water. Post-workout is carbs, orange juice, and then I'll put more water in here. And I forgot, can't believe I forgot this, one scoop of EAAs as well for the intro workout. All right, this isn't good. I'm about to leave for El Gimnasio, whatever. And Brittany's keys are not found to be anywhere. And I remember taking them out specifically and not locking my car. Let's see. Oh, they're sitting right there. Okay, that's good. To explain my meal breakdowns, I like to eat my carbs pre-workout, intra-workout, post-workout, and that's pretty much it, the carb consumption. Besides just like fruit, I'll have fruit in the morning and at night time, but it's basically the only time I want to have carbs is pre, post, and during. But we're right for the gym, so go smash your arms. If you look close enough, you can see Kyle over there. I'm supposed to be legged in, I'm supposed to do it with him, but I decided to hit arms instead. I got legs Monday. Oh no. Hey man. How 
are you? Good, I heard you guys are having fun. We were waiting for you. Did I show up? doing arms. Yeah, I'm doing arms. We were going to do arms, but you didn't show up, so now we're here. I didn't get a text. <laughs> Would you like to join us? Yeah, we, we that, a nice press. that doesn't look like a shoulder press or arms. I'll have to give it a hard pass. Ask him how he's doing. Congratulations on your show. Thank you, man. Thank you, man. And then, how's leg day? Oh, man, I feel good, man. As you can see, I got the pump, man. Looks I see good. that. Looks good. Oh, yeah, we doing that shit, man. <laughs> We're back. Let's go. Okay, so I just wrapped up that workout. I was at the gym for way, 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 way too long. Um, I think I got there at like five and it's now nine. Didn't work out the whole time. It worked out for like two and a half hours, two hours. But I was just chilling, talking with some people, talking with the owner of the gym, Ray. So this full day of eating, I don't know, this isn't going so well because typically it's nine o'clock and I would have about four meals in me right now and I have two. So I only got two meals in me. Um, I'm gonna head home and have like a huge, huge uh, post-workout meal I guess because 
yeah, I don't have that much food in me. So that big meal I'm gonna eat when I head home and make that, I would be eating tip. I would eat that anyways in my full day video would just be spaced out more, but I'm just gonna have it all as one big meal, so. Just got home and it's 9.52 at night and I only ate two meals today, so not good. But what we'll be making is a very large meal, which is on the vertical diet, it's called the uh, Monster Mash. So, ingredients, 93.7 lean ground beef, that's dripping, that's gross. We have three whole sweet potatoes, one, dos, tres, some rice. All right, so we have our sweet potatoes, right? And I'm gonna put these in the microwave, so you gotta stab them profusely, like a bunch of little holes. I could recommend either holding it in your hand, and it's pretty easy like this, pretty fast. This is like a, you could say super speed, but you have the risk of uh, stabbing yourself, so I wouldn't recommend that. So you wrap them in a moist, love that word, moist, moist paper towel. One. All right, they're in the microwave. Put them in for like 8.30. All right, so now we're gonna cook the ground beef, which I'm doing the whole package. It says 164 servings, so that's what? 640? 640 calories, but the fat like cooks out. But I'm gonna put the rice in there anyway, so whatever, 640 calories. 20 grams of protein, 23 times four, 25, okay. It's high in protein, put it that way. Basically, cook the beef, right? Put your beef in, oh yeah, I'm eating carrots. Help with digestion. All right, so as that cooks, I'm gonna munch on about 10 baby carrots. So, beef right that's gonna cook then once it's almost like pretty much done I'm gonna throw 200 grams of rice in there let it cook with the rice potatoes should be done by then those things are hot we love that cool I'm gonna throw anything one big bowl and it's called the monster mash as Stan Efferton calls it so I'll see you with the final product oh that was a great attempt hey Bailey hey buddy there's no food for you I'm so sorry. Sweet potatoes are done and they are hot, okay. This is always the worst part, which is scooping the sweet potato into that bowl. It takes forever. It'd probably be smart to let them cool down, right? But I'm a little hungry, so. Great. All right, and that's our post-workout meal three of the day. Finally eating now at 10.08 p.m., wow. Post-workout meal, as I said, we have 200 grams of rice, three sweet potatoes, and a whole package of 93.7 lean ground beef. And that's like a whole pound. So typically I'd like to break this up into like two meals, but I barely ate today and time's running short on, um, bless you Bailey, on my, um, on my day. So I'm gonna add some salt, some potassium salt. I'd highly recommend this to anyone. Has the, uh, the beef flavor. Rice, mainly texture, can't really taste it. And it has um, a sweet flavor from the sweet potato. And if you season your beef correctly, it just tastes amazing, so. Good meal. Um, I'll see you guys when I finish this and go for a walk to help digest this a little bit better. One minute, 50. One minute, 50 seconds, it took Greg Doucette to eat four servings of his French toast, which is like a thousand calories. I think I could beat that. I think I'm gonna join in on this challenge. Didn't talk to them, I think just what I'm gonna do after I see their results, potentially I'll join in and try this 10,000 calorie challenge on the anabolic cookbook. It seems quite hard being that it's calorically dense foods and super low calories but super high volume, so I'm gonna give this a shot, I think. Let's see. What's Will's time? So two minutes and eight seconds. Two minutes and eight seconds. Not that great, Will, not that great. I mean, I have no idea how he did. I'd say that's pretty respectable. I left a couple blueberries there, but it's a thousand calories for serving. That's four for 
freaking servings. I'm gonna give that a shot. My Greg used that a full day of eating, or in 10,000 calories. I'm going against them. All right, devoured that meal. It's all finished. Now I'm gonna go for a walk, let this digest, and then I'll see you on meal four of the, of the day. Okay. So I'm currently sitting here, and it's now 11:50. I hope you guys can see that. It's 11.57 at night time. And I'm just waiting to basically eat because I want to go to bed. I mean, realistically, did I eat enough today? Probably, but what I've been doing um, is been eating one steak a day and basically one whole package of ground beef a day. And um, being that, I screwed up my timing for my meals. I'm going to stay up pretty late today basically to get that meal in. I don't have to wake up anytime early tomorrow, so it's okay for me to uh, sleep in. Final meal going down. We have steak and eggs. So I have <clears throat> basically a whole New York strip steak that I got in my uh, full day of eating video. So we have one of those, tastes great. And then I cooked up four eggs. Typically this time, you wouldn't be eating this meal. What I would be eating would be like I guess what I eat before bed, like a nighttime snack, which would be um, Greek yogurt, which I have like light and fit Greek or Okios or Okios, whatever it is. I'm not gonna have any nighttime snacks today just because I screwed myself over with timing and it's late. I wanna go to bed. So this is the final meal today. We'll see how good I am. If we put the macros on the screen or make you guys guess. Final meal done. Basically it's just pieces that I cut away fat from. And yeah, that's basically a full day of eating. Maybe I'll have the popcorn snack. I don't really want, I don't think I'm, I'm not even that hungry. It's late, it's, as I said, it's one in the morning, I just wanna go to bed. So basically the whole rundown of my full day of eating is fruit and eggs in the morning, and then meal two would typically be the steak meal that I just ate now with uh, rice or avocado. And then uh, meal three be pre-workout, which is the cream of rice concoction. Um, then I have my intro workout drinks, post workout drink, uh, meal four is that big monster mash, and meal five would be typically my nighttime snack, which is like the yogurts or fruit again if I'm feeling like it. So, yeah, that's my full day of eating. Full day of eating completed.